What interests me besides the cards, we've watched a lot of hands being played, but the, the things that most people don't think about, which is even when you walk up to a table to sit down, uh, you play with a lot of the same players at the level you, mm -hmm. you, you all play at. Right. How much do you choose of who, you, who of those players you want to sit to your left or your right or across from as far away from as possible? Well, you want to get your uh, more aggressive players to your right, more passive to your left. You want to get uh, the worst players, bad players on your right. You can isolate on them. You know, when they, they can race with an ace four, you can re-race with an ace ten and make a guy throw away an ace jack. It's an easy way to sum it up. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's uh, how you play the players is pretty much everything. I mean, we're going over here and showing cards and how we feel you should play cards in certain situations. But pretty much when you first sit down at a poker table and your average 20, 40, let's say, limit hold and poker table, you're going to sit down at the table and you're going to say, okay, you got three aggressive maniacs, seat two, seat six, seat seven. Over here you have three. This guy, seat one, seat four, seat five are pretty much weak players. And over here you have your seat seven, seat eight, they're your pretty solid aggressive players. And you're gonna, when you first sit down, within the first 20 minutes of playing, you're gonna know who the aggressive player is, who the weak tight player is, who the weak bad player is, who the aggressive bad player is, who the real solid good well, player is. Well, you're not gonna necessarily know that unless you sit down and your job in those first 20 minutes or half hours to really study the table. But so as a professional poker player, that's the first well, thing you must need to do. Why not as an amateur poker player? Well, and as an amateur poker player, you must be able to, to know who, what type of player you're up against right away. That's the first thing when any of us get to a poker table is we analyze. And as Todd said, what we want is we want the aggressive players to the right, the passive players to the left. And that's, that's, a, that's a, always a, a continued thing. With our players here today, uh, you walk up, how would you categorize And Let's just go around the table. Categorize your your the two that you talked. Oh, well, to. I guess we'll all three give our opinion, and I'm pretty yes. sure it's going to be pretty close. Uh, yeah. As it changed, you have uh, your uh, Eddie's a solid, weak player, as far as I'm concerned. Angela is is a mixture between she gets aggressive and then she she gets passive, and she's she's more of a uh, I'd have to say an aggressive, loose player. Matt was by far the best player of the by bunch. Far. Um, he pretty much played pretty close to what I would have played. Michael was... The thing, thing with whether he's the best or not the best, but if you walk down the table, you're looking at him, you're going to play against him, well, how would you categorize him? As a, um, a, as a, as a tight, uh, aggressive tight, aggressive player. player yeah. And tight, aggressive, you would say, is good. I you agree. Desire way to play. Sure. Yeah, he, was, he played well. And uh, uh, Michael was more of an aggressive, more, more power player. A maniac type Mike, of... He was a maniac at the table, definitely. Right. He's, he's, a, he's the guy you want on your right. Exactly. Definitely. And Larissa? Larissa was also pretty pretty loose, loose aggressive also. You want to play with loose aggressive players? Yes. Yeah. You want to look for... You don't want to be a loose aggressive player. You, you want to play with weak, away. tight, passive right. players or loose aggressive. Right. Those are... I mean, those are your two, your two spots. So don't be any of those things. Well, listen, I want to thank all three of you for being here for this. And we're, we're going to be doing a lot more... Shows about a lot of different types of poker, Omaha, Eight or Better, uh, tournament poker, and even online poker. So uh, come back again, and let's get inside. Thank you for having us, heads. Mike. Appreciate it. Okay. World Poker Exchange. WorldPX.com.